Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike, and this time we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Retro Collection Cobra Trooper. Now, if you hadn't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. The G.I. Joe Retro Collection is here and is taking your Walmart by storm. My question is, what is it doing to your bank account? Well, let me tell you guys, I grew up with the original G.I. Joes, and when I saw the Retro Collection, I originally just ignored it and passed it by because I'm a real big fan of the Classified series. It's my favorite G.I. Joe line to date. It really is. I love the Pursuit of Cobra line, but the Classified series is it. You know, there, there's just no denying the uh, articulation, the attention to detail, the posability. I mean, the lifelike nature of the Classified series blows everything else out of the water. That being said, you know, it's not feasible to produce a bunch of vehicles and aircraft for the Classified series. So the Retro Collection is a great alternative to go back and, you know, rebuild your childhood toy collection as well as get into awesome vehicles that are in that line as well. I love the Cobra Troopers. I had an entire army of these things growing up. But I've got some problems with this figure, and we're going to talk about that. So let's start off with the card back. I love the artwork. The vehicles, the action figures, they all have that original 80s vibe from the Real American Hero toy line. I love, love, love that. Let's talk about what you see in the bubble. You've got the figure. He's got a chest rig on. There's a Druganov SVD sniper rifle, and you can already see that it's warped. That's because the weapons are made out of soft plastic. He's got a Carl Gustav uh, shoulder-mounted rocket launcher. He's got an M1911A1 45 caliber sidearm and a fixed blade combat knife. On the back, you've got your file card. I like this and I don't like it. We speak English here in America. We don't speak Spanish, French, German, or whatever other Dern language is on this card. Uh, I really like the original file cards. I don't care for this crap here. And I know why they did this. They did this as a cost-saving feature. Instead of giving each and every you know, ethnic group, their own file card and their own language. Let's just combine all five of them onto one card. Yeah, right. Uh, that doesn't fly for me. I'm going to keep it anyway. I, still, I just think this is ridiculous. Obligatory product shots of some of the other figures in the retro collection. All right, here's the Cobra Trooper outside of the packaging. And as you can see, this is a really nice looking action figure a lot of molded detail in this guy i'll pop this helmet off so you guys can get a look at the head sculpt there's a white dude with brown hair brown eyes if you don't like it too bad <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk about this action figure articulation wise his head is on a really nice ball joint, forward and lateral movement at the shoulder. Uh, no bicep rotation. Elbow swivel, single jointed elbow, wrist swivel, and I don't think there's any wrist pivot there. His torso is on a ball joint. And he has waist swivel as well. Is that not cool? Forward and lateral movement at the thigh. Thigh rotation, and his leg joint just popped off. Remember that when you rotate the thighs. You saw this first on YouTube. Double jointed knee. Ankle swivel. His foot uh, will pivot side to side and front to back. So that was really surprising to see his leg pop off, but at least it popped back on. I paid almost $13 for four of these a piece at Walmart, so I really hate to see something happen in one of these action figures. Let's point out some of the detail of things uh, that I have issue with with this guy. First and foremost, every one of these Cobra Troopers have their holster for their sidearm on their left leg. Now, I don't know, maybe these guys are all clones. 
Maybe they've been given some sort of genetic injection that they're all left-handed. I don't know. Whatever. The other problem I have is this molded pistol on their chest harness. I don't care for that. There's an answer for it, though. It's called an Exacto. A lot of molded detail. There's a watch. That's really cool. Timex. There we go. I like that. Let's talk about accessories. Carl Gustav rocket launcher. What do you guys notice right out of the packaging? It's warped. It's because it's made out of soft, rubbery-like plastic. I don't like that at all. For comparison, this is a Chat May rocket launcher that's included with the uh, Chat May line of toys. They produce uh, Click and Play, which is what this come out of. They also produce the True Heroes and all that good stuff. But I bought a bunch of click and play helicopters and uh, dune buggies and stuff like that. And all of them have these rocket launchers in it. This is pretty, pretty rigid. It's got a little bit of flex to it. You can see there's just some slight warping there. But you really can't see that compared to this. So congratulations. The Cobra Trooper now has a new weapon. That's going in the trash. Here is his Druganov SVD sniper rifle. Hasbro, we can't use this. It's a soft, rubbery plastic. That's also gone in the trash. M1911A1, 45 caliber sidearm. Same soft rubber, but it's straight. It's not warped. We'll be keeping that. The other accessory is a fixed blade combat knife. And rather than give us a sheath, there's these uh, two small loops up here on his chest rig that you're supposed to push this into. And it's not always easy to get it in. I'm just going to tell you from a practical perspective, from years of experience and training, you don't carry knives around with an openly exposed blade like that. For one, it would cut the straps. Uh, it, it, they just wouldn't fly, you know? So I'm trying to come up with an alternative solution. Maybe look at Marauder Gun Runners and see if they've got a knife sheath that I can cut these little rings off and then glue onto his chest rig. I don't know, we'll see. Overall, good figure. I do like the action figure. The accessories are crap. You know, I'm gonna order uh, some 118th scale weapon accessories from Marauder Gun Runners as well as from Gridiron Props to complement my Chatmate action figures as well as these Cobra Troopers. And I had someone ask me on Instagram if I was going to purchase the G.I. Joe Retro Collection Grunt and use it as a troop builder. The answer is no, because I really do not like the head sculpt. I, I just don't. Uh, also the accessories that are included with the figure, you know, for $13 for action figure, there may be some Joes that I end up buying like Lady J, you know, roadblock, but for a troop builder, I'm going to turn to my chat may figures as well as to Marauder gun runners to fill out my GI Joe collection. I just purchased the Cobra troopers because there is no other three and three quarter inch action figure out there for Cobra other than Hasbro. You know, you're not going to find these guys anywhere else. So I purchased four of these to be troop builders. I've got one of them on my His 3, and uh, I'm going to pick up some more of these and just buy accessories from the vendors that I've already stated, you know, Marauder Gun Runners and Gridiron Props. So guys, there you have the G.I. Joe Retro Collection Cobra Trooper. If you don't have this guy, pick him up. Here in the U.S., they retail for right at $13 each.